welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be more of a fun video because I've decided to jump on the bandwagon and do the full face using only highlighters challenge. This challenge was started by a girl named Maria, although I don't think she actually started it as a challenge, but then Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star turned it into a challenge, and since then I've seen Alicia from Xparkage do it as well. So if you guys want to see how I got this full-on glowy look, please keep watching. Okay, the first product I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer and this is just going to help prime my face and add some glow to it. Now I do want some coverage because my skin is pretty terrible at the moment, I have quite a few breakouts. So I'm going to be applying the Naked Skin Foundation and this is in 0.5. Uh, slightly too dark for me, but I'm just going to blend it down my neck. And I'm also going to mix it with the Lumi Magique primer as well, just for added glow. And then I'm just going to apply that over my face with a damp beauty blender. So this is probably not the best time for me to be doing a full face highlight video because my skin is absolutely shit at the moment. It's got a lot of texture and acne going on. Um, which I am currently taking medication for um, and it is very slowly going down it's a lot better than it was but I saw this challenge and I love highlighter and I just think it's a really really fun challenge so I just decided to go for it anyway I realize I don't really have like a highlighting concealer I used to have uh, the YSL Touche Clap but I've run out so I'm just going to use my normal concealer uh, but once again I'm just going to mix it with that Lumi Magique primer I'm just going to apply my concealer first and I'm just going to apply a couple of dots of the Lumi Magique. I'm going to start blending that in. And I'm also going to take this just over my eyelids just to hide that discoloration and those veins. Okay, I really, really love that primer mix in with that concealer it's just really really brightened up my under eye area i may have to start using that in my normal routine that looks so nice to set everything into place i am going in with my Too Faced candlelight glow i'm just going to apply that all over my face i feel like because this is quite a subtle highlight you can actually get away with wearing this over your face so it's not as intense as something like the Barnes Mary Luminizer or the Sleek Solstice Palette. Again, take that down my neck area. So you wanna highlight there too. Put my hair out the way. So obviously it does emphasize my texture, especially on my forehead, as um, I do have a lot of texture going on there at the moment. But you know what, I'm not bothered. This is just a really fun challenge. So we're just gonna keep on going with it. Okay, for my eyes, I'm going to be using my very much loved Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I'm just going to apply this using my C408 Chisel Shader Brush by Crown Brushes. Okay, I'm just going to leave the outer third free for something else. I was going to use this on the entire lid, but I've changed my mind, so we'll see where this goes. Oh. Okay, for the outer third of my eyes, I'm going to use this collection Gorgeous Glow Blush Block. And I love this, it's again, another very well loved product in my collection. It's just full of beautiful shimmering shades that add highlight and color for a healthy glow. And I'm just gonna focus it on these darker, bronzier shades down here. I'm just gonna apply that into the outer corners and slightly into the crease as well. Also going to take some of that and apply it to my lower lash line as well. To really brighten up those inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to take my Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette and I'm just going to take this shade here called Subsolar and apply that right into those inner corners. I'm then going to take a Real Techniques detailer brush and take that same shade 
and just get it right onto that tear duct area. I want to really open up those eyes. And I'm also going to apply that same highlighter onto my brow bone. For blush, I'm going back to my gorgeous Glow Blush Block by Collection. And I'm just going to apply this using my Real Techniques cheek brush. I feel like I want to apply some bronzer, but I don't have like a dark enough highlight. So I think I'm going to use the Sun Bunny bronzer by Too Faced. And I have it in my um, like a Christmas holiday palette, but you can buy this separately. Oh, it's so orange on me. Keep blending it out. Possibly not my best idea as this does look really, really orange on me, but, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit. So I don't have any extra product on here. I'm just using whatever's remaining on this beauty blender. I'm just going to tone this down and blend it a bit. It's already looking a lot better. That's not so frightening now, that's fine. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I'm going to dare to try and contour my nose using this Sun Bunny bronzer. I'm just gonna draw a thin line either side of the nose. This left side's always more difficult because I have a slight bump on the side of my nose. Sometimes I feel like the contouring accentuates that bump, but I don't know, we're trying all sorts of new things today, so we're just gonna go with it. Let's just apply some underneath. And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna start to blend out those lines. And this is the C200 Deluxe Crease from Crown Brushes. I love it, I feel very alienish with this glowy skin. It's awesome. Okay, I'm then gonna take my beauty blender and again, I'm just going to pat that over the top. Just to make sure it's nice and blended. I actually really like this Sun Bunny bronzer. Now I've toned it down. Okay, I'm now gonna highlight the bridge and the tip of my nose using Sub Solar from the Sleek Sources Highlighting Palette. I tend to apply this higher than my natural tip because my natural tip's down here, but I want my nose to look a little bit more turned up. So I just like to apply it slightly higher. And I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. Just make sure it's nice and blended. Now it is time to highlight all the high points of my face. So I'm just going to use a mix of this pink shade up here and this white shade. I'm going to start highlighting some of our cheekbones. This palette is so good guys, like it's one of my favourite highlighting palettes ever. Yes, that is a crazy intense highlight. I'm just going to take that in that C shape as well because why not, you might as well go all out. I would usually highlight above the arches of my brows, but because I have so much texture on my forehead, I'm actually gonna leave that for today. But I am going to highlight um, my chin and my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take my Real Technique setting brush and just highlight my cupid's bow and my chin. The lipstick, I'm going to use this Color Sensational Lipstick by Maybelline, and this is in the shade uh, Peach Poppy. And then I'm just going to press some of this orangey shade over the top. 
Okay, so I do want to apply mascara because I really feel like my eyes need something else and I'm not gonna be using any eyeliner or anything. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes in Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Okay, so here is the finished look. I cannot get over my skin right now. It just looks so, so shiny. I think most people would look at me and probably think that I'd run a marathon, but I really, really like the way that this turned out. It's just a really, really fun challenge to do as well. That's why I love makeup. You can be so creative with it and come up with these looks. So I really, really enjoyed doing this challenge. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all the really nice comments on my Alice in Wonderland series as well. Um, I really, really enjoyed creating those looks, so it's really nice to hear some positive feedback. And thank you to all the new subscribers too. I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you in my next video.